Hey, nap time warriors. What's going on, mamas? This is Mama Shira. Welcome to DIY Mama Tribe, the place that you come to get tips, tricks, projects, home decor, home improvement stuff that you can complete either in one or several nap times while your little one's laying down. So today, I'm gonna to talk about another project that I've already done in my kitchen. And it's something that kinda of happened by accident. So I'm gonna show you how I made my dinosaur picture here, dinosaur cabinet pools. I actually came upon this by accident because after I repainted the cabinets in our kitchen, I, um, I, I took them all down, I sanded them. If you wanna see a, a walkthrough of that, I can, I'm happy to make another explainer video for that. But the point is, you have to take off the, the kitchen drawer and cabinet pulls before you paint. So I did all that, but then when I was trying to put them back on after I painted and everything had dried, all of the screws were stripped and I couldn't get any of <laughs> the cabinet pulls back on. So I needed an inexpensive solution in order to still have something on my cabinet doors. I guess, you know, people live without cabinet door pulls, but I wanted that little something extra on my kitchen cabinet doors and drawers. And so the dinosaurs is what I came up with. And I love that it's super educational. I love that it's super educational for my baby as well. Like I can teach her like this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Pachycephalosaurus. This is a Stegosaurus. So it's really cool to me to have that extra educational aspect in the kitchen. So let's get into exactly how I pulled this off. Now the first thing you wanna do, of course, is find some suitable plastic toys, um, preferably that are hollow, um, so you can screw through them, and of appropriate size for your cabinet project. So what I'm doing here, I took the screws from the cabinet that I had been using, and I matched it up with a drill bit that was just a little bit smaller. Um, that's so I'd have a pilot hole to be able to drill into the toys. And I would also have a, um, a way to for the screws to have something to bite into, if that makes sense. So I'm, of course, um, I'm changing out the drill bit here to that smaller one to drill the pilot hole. But this is the first thing you do um, after you have selected and received your plastic toys or dinosaurs um, or bought them at a retailer. I will, of course, put a link in the description box. But I just wanted to kind of go through the motions for you guys so that you could see my exact process, even though I've already completed this project. So once I get the drill bit on, I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks when you have drilled into the dinosaur toy. So of course this is already drilled because I've completed this project. And at this point, your dinosaurs or toys of your choice will not be painted. But I just want to show you how I just held the toys down and drilled right into the side of them. Easy peasy. The next step after drilling is painting. And I use just spray paint. I got a bronze Rust-Oleum. Hey, just wanted to pop in and ask that if you are getting any value out of this video, that you go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe while you're at it. Thanks. So after your toy is drilled, the paint is dry, you're gonna take some kind of adhesive to fill in that space inside the dinosaur so that there's something for the screw to hold on to. So um, one of the choices was the silicone caulk. Of course, you would need a caulk gun in order to use that. You load up the silicone into it, and you can look, there are different kinds. 
but you can look on the side of it and it tells you everything that it adheres to. This particular one adheres to just about anything on the list, including plastic and wood. So it is, of course, a good choice. Alternately, you could just use some Gorilla Glue that is gonna foam up into that area as well. Now, once you have the adhesive inside the dinosaur, and I went one by one with this because I wanted the adhesive to be somewhat wet, you go ahead and line it up with your cabinet drawer or the cabinet door, um, which takes some doing. But you wanna start with the screw going through the, the, the wood piece, the cabinet piece first. And then once you start it, once you get through the initial wood of it, you will start to feel it grip into the dinosaur once you have the you have to have the of course the holes all lined up so that's what i'm kind of fiddling with is making sure everything's lined up once i've gotten the screw through the hole initially and then you can sort of feel it going into the toy on the other side of the wood piece to make sure that it's adhered tight and there you go so guys, I'm super happy with how it came out, clearly. Um, some of them do have a little bit of give to them, and that's why you'll see. I just wanted you to see that I'm still using them there. Um, I have some pictures of how they looked initially, but they still pretty much look good. Like, they've had some wear and tear, of course, because we grab them every day, but they're still on there. They're still bronze. Some of them turn a little bit, but I'm super happy with it, and I hope you guys try it, too. So, how'd that go? I am, of course, happy with how it came out. It's my kitchen and I live with it. But I was wondering if you would try to pull this off. Maybe there are other animals that you could find toys of and do the same technique. I found it to be mostly easy. The hardest part for me was getting things to stay on and maybe just figuring out what um, animal worked best in what area <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy and getting used to the look of it all together because at first glance it does kind of look like there are lizards crawling all over your kitchen but you get used to that part and then you realize like oh this is totally an educational opportunity for my kids any kids that visit even some adults so thank you so much for watching. I love that you made it to the end of this video. And again, hit like, subscribe. If the Mama Tribe can do anything to help you through your project, of course, comment below and have a good one. Thanks.